morning folks fan went out on the truck in the middle of the night last night so we're gonna do the the Horton fan clutch on a Detroit uh, and that's a fun project so we'll try to keep the camera going here all day and get every step of the way with it here so all right let's tear the truck apart so we can get back to work Detroit's have two different styles. You got a Horton and oh, I can't remember which is the other one. It's not Halidex. It's it's like a cone shape, but this is the disc, the Horton. So uh, it will not it will not uh, stay shut and run. I can open it, but it won't close. So there's something going on there with the O-rings. We don't know if we're going to rebuild it or just replace it. So we're going to try to get it out of there. As you guys know, I don't pay anybody to do anything on my, for anything, if I can't do it myself, unless I can't do it myself, I should say, so. All right, so, for starters, the four fan bolts, real pain in the butt, right? So, 14 millimeter, <clears throat> you're gonna wanna get a short in there, three eighths, um, kinda get it. In between the fan blades, get you a little cheater bar. There we go, a little cheater bar on there, and use that to break them loose. And then you can uh, ratchet those off. So let's keep going here. I'm gonna try to explain to you what comes out of there. All right? You got four of these, and these are coming out like that. So the nuts aren't coming off. The whole stud washer nut and everything's coming out of there. Also, a quick, quick little diagnose story here, right? First thing we checked is the solenoid up there. Uh, you pull the airline off of here, hit your fan switch on and off. If you got air coming out, well, you know your solenoid's working. So next thing is put your airline back on the fitting down there with the truck off and the truck aired up, hit the fan switch, and if you hear air leaking out of here, well then you know you got a busted seal in there or something. So that's what's going on here. You can see this oil around here, little tattletale signs of oil on the fan. So we know we got a blown seal in there. So uh, that's what we got going on. All right, six bolts, not four. Uh, some of them come out with the studs some of them come out with the nuts i would suggest if you're going to be smart about things find the nut that fits on there and double nut those so you can get the studs out it'll help you with get more clearance number two when you call up the peterbilt dealership and you tell me you need a horton three belt on a 99 379 and they ask you what the hell you're talking about what a stupid world we live in anyways bolts are out fans coming off you got to do it this way you can't do it any other way if you think you can take the belts off and take that off negative because then you don't have any room to get the whole thing out of there so band comes off and it just sits down here and then we move on to the next step alrighty folks so two things there's going to be a part one and a part two to this because there's no available um, Horton fan hub. Uh, the only thing I could find is the rebuild kit. And I do not, do not have time to rebuild this sucker here today. Uh, we are super busy. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to probably just rebuild it and take some days, days off here later in the week to do it. That'll be part two. So what we are going to do, though, is we are going to lock this fan in place to get us through and i'm going to show you here where that's at if i can it's not much room there is a lock screw right here it is an allen i believe you can drive that in carefully you don't want to overdo it to where it locks the fan in place and that'll keep you running um, until you can uh make make do to to get this all replaced and fixed here. And this is $1,000 with a $500 core. So it's $1,500 <clears throat> um, to get a new one. 
the rebuild kit is 450 so of course I'm going to rebuild this myself for 450 that'll be part two so hopefully that helps somebody out um, when in doubt remember that you have a locking screw here on the uh, pressure plate right there and that'll get you through until uh, if you need to keep running all right folks update the locking pin that I showed you right here I could not get to work um, it stripped out I couldn't get any Allen not even a Torx hammer I can't, couldn't get anything hammered in there to get it to uh, to work so you might notice there's a bolt up here there are holes two holes on either side of this thing and the only thing I could think to do is I ran a 7 16 tap and tapped some 7 16 threads through that hole and then I ran a 7 short 7 16 bolt through there and then I felt around and in this piece there is a hole or a notch that that fits into and locks the hub out so that's that was our fix for the day um, and we've got the fan locked out so we can run until we get our parts so that's it that's how I did it that's probably some part that some uh, that's probably how things will uh, go for you if you're trying to do this project um, those are the problems to look for um, you've got about two and a half inches to work with in here just enough to get a 3 8 ratchet in there and get your, your fan bolts off. Then you can move your fan away. Um, but if anybody's looking to lock one of these out, be very careful. Um, I couldn't actually figure out what size that ended up being because it was stripped out. So uh, this is your locking bolt here. And if that doesn't work for you, you can tap out the hole that's next to it and put a 7 16 bolt in there to lock to lock your hub out so part two will be uh when we get the rebuild kit we take this all apart again and rebuild the hub Alrighty, folks that's it the horton uh fan hub locking screw i guess would be the thing to name this video but this is part one when we actually get the rebuild build kit and we go to tear this back apart we'll make it part two y'all be blessed we'll see you so deal with stuff so i just just gonna deal with it.